Let's run with me through the adventure of a microscope. Let's go! Through a mis- microscope. Written by Cherry Resnader. Focus question How do microscopes help people learn about the world? Barely visible. A human hair, which is about one tenth of a millimeter. 0.0039 inch in width is one of the smallest things the human eye can see. Imagine though, if you could shrink yourself until the hair looked as thick as your arm. Imagine if the hair looked as fat as the tree trunk. What would you see? The hairs on a fly's leg will look like an enormous spice. The fly itself will look like a monster with gigantic eyes. That's the close up view a microscope provides, and it changes how we see the world. The first simple microscopes. For thousands of years, people have been interested in taking a closer look at the world. The ancient Greeks used glass globes filled with water to make objects appear larger. In the first century CE, the Romans discovered how to make things appear larger with glass that was thick in the middle and thin on the edges, the first magnifying glass. When people started to figure out how to make better glass lenses in Europe in the 1600s, the microscope was invented. At first, the microscope was just a sort of fancy magnifying glass. It had a single glass lens mounted above a holder for specimens. Most magnifying glasses only make objects appear about 5 to 10 times larger in size. That was the magnifying power of the first simple microscopes. Compound microscopes. Early microscopes used a finger out that they could put two magnifying glasses in line with each other to get even more magnification. The second lenses magnified the image from the first lens, multiplying its power of magnification. With the combination of two lenses in a single microscope, the compound micros- microscope was born. Well, I have to admit one thing, that the, that the pronunciation of this word, microscope, is really hard. The compound microscope totals magnification in the product of the power of both of its lenses. For example, if the first lens provides 10 times magnification and the second lens provides 40 times magnification, the specimen will be viewed at 400 times its actual size. Today, compound microscopes can magnify objects to make them appear up to 1500 times larger than their actual size. Magnify 20 to 30 times. One of the first early microscopes user was a British scientist named Robert Hockey. Hockey improved the early compound microscopes, which could only magnify objects about 20 to 30 times their actual size. He was also one of the first people to take detailed notes on what he saw through a microscope. Hock published, Hockey published this, published his observations in 1665 in a book called Micrographia. It was the first book on microscope he was written by a scientist. In Macrographia, Hoki included drawings or close-up views of a louse and a leaflia. He drew the compound eyes of a fly in greater detail than anyone had ever seen before. He sketched the individual hairs that covers a fly's body, the delicate antennae, and the complicated mouth pads. Hoki also sketched sections of plants and seeds. When he examined a thin section of cork under a microscope, he discovered that it was made up of hundreds of tiny chambers. He described those tiny chambers as cells. They reminded him of those small rooms called cells used by monks in a monastery. Eventually, the term cell became used to describe the tiny building blocks of all living things. Today, examining thin slices of plants tell us see how seeds are formed. It reveals how cells make up the veins and tissues of plant leaves. It shows the cells that allow water and nutrients to move in plant stems, which help us understand how plants live and grow. Magnifying 50 to 200 times, 50 to 200 times. Historians believe the Hockey's micrographia inspired another early microscope user, Antoni van Lee Hunkook. Lee Hunkook. Vey Lee Hunkook was a Dutch cloth merchant, not a chain scientist. However, he used magnifying glasses to examine the different types of fabric he saw and sold. When he saw Hockey's drawings of the microscopic world, Van Lee Hunkook. Lee, Lee Von Hook, oh my god, that's so hard. Lee Von Hook started making lenses of his own. 
Van Leeuwenhoek discovered a way to create better lenses. As a result, he was able to make microscopes that magnified objects to more than 200 times their real size. He exampled more than 500 microscopes in the late 1600s and early 1700s. Using these stronger microscopes, Van Leeuw Lee Von Hoek discovered red blood cells. He also discovered tiny life forms called microorganisms living in the lake water and in the scrapings from someone's teeth. Before Van Lee Von Hoek's time, no one knew that microorganisms, living things too small to see with the naked eye, even existed. Microscopes revealed that microorganisms live everywhere. Today, if you use a microscope in a classroom, it probably magnifies objects about the same amount of Van Leeuwen Cook's early microscopes. Today, 200, although 200 times magnification may not seem like a lot, it is enough to reveal details invisible to the naked eye. Even something as simple as sand is seen in a new light under a microscope. Without magnification, sand looks ordinary and plain. Under magnification, it is clear the sand from the ocean's edge contains microscopic shells, shell fragments, coral, and volcanic rock. Wait, this is the plain beach sand? It looks so colorful and much, much more like interesting to look at than a plain sand, right? Magnified 200 to 1500 times. Early compound microscopes had some problems because the lenses called often created distortions in the image. It was extremely difficult to tell what was the actual image and what was an artificial effect caused by the way line passed through the lenses. In the early 1800s, a British scientist named Jarvis Jackson Lester invented a new type of lenses that solved the distortion problem. His work made microscopes more powerful and reliable. As a result, micro microscopes allow new discoveries in multiple fields of science and medicine. In the mid-1800s, French biologist Louis Pasteur discovered that microorganisms in the air could contaminate beer or milk, causing it to spoil. Around the same time, the improved microscope allowed physicians to see microorganisms in the bodies of sick people. For the first time, scientists made the connection between microorganisms and disease. This discovery revolutionized the practice of medicine. The early compound microscope also led to the discovery of that no two flakes are alike. American photographer Wilson Alwy Bentley was known as Snowflake Bentley for his work with snowflakes. He paired a camera with his microscope in the late 1800s and early 1900s to take photographs of more than 5,000 individual snowflakes. He showed that snowflakes are mirror images of themselves in six different directions. Compound microscopes also allow scientists to discover that salt, sugar, and some other substances from very specific crystal structures. Salt is made up of only two types of regularly spaced atoms. As a result, it forms regularly shaped cubic crystals. Sugar, or sucrose, is made up of two different, simpler types of sugar. It forms crystals that are slanted in each end and more oblong than solid crystals. The ability to see the world's tiny details can help people understand how things work. Take the cochlear. A Swiss engineer named George D. Menstrual became curious about the cochlear burrs that stuck to his clothing and stocks fur. Wondering how they could attach themselves too firmly, he took a closer look at the burrs under a microscope. He saw that they had tiny hooks that attached onto loops in the fabric of his plant. Inspired by nature's hook and loop fastener, D. Menstrual worked to retrieve the designer design using fabric. Years later, the result was Velcro. Velcro is made of two, two pieces of fabric, one covered in thousands of tiny hooks and the other covered in thousands of tiny loops. The hooks and loops allow the two species of fabric to zip together magnifying one million times. Because of the way light works, there is a limit to how much magnification a compound microscope can achieve. During the last during the last century, scientists developed a microscope that used different ways to illuminate samples, including ultraviolet light and beams to energy called electron particles. Microscopes that use electron beams to illuminate samples are called electron microscopes. They provide the greatest magnification of any type of microscope currently in existence. They can magnify samples up to 1 million times. 
Conclusion: With each new degree of magnification, more detail is revealed about the tiny structures of plants, animals, and materials. As a result, microscopes have allowed countless discoveries in nearly every field of science. Microscope made the invisible visible, allowing us to explore the world in an entirely new way. Here's some new words in case you don't get anything, but I think that I uh, struggle with only one word. It is specimen. Examples used for comparison, study, or display. So let's do the quiz. Good job. I'm Tony Van. Microorganism. Cold fibers. Live from like water and slice of a plant. Wait, wait! I forgot this particular detail. Oh, oh! Wait, wait! I still remember it. It's like river. I'm not sure. Just wait for a few minutes for it to download. From this book is life in the lake water. Cool fibers. I think flea. The first magnifying glass. With thin edges, use magnifying glass to uh, examine fabrics he bought and sold. What following discovery happened because of the microscope? What the following senses did examine the other's purpose? Name? This book. Knowing that Wilson snowflake like five thousand pages, that Well, they help a lot because they help us to see the invisible visible. Like it helps to magnify into the detailed word to the to their wait to the word inside that we haven't ever experienced and presented before. So it really oh yeah, to. don't stop. click on the items with the red. Oh, it's not a flea. The cold fibers, right? It depends. I always told you that this is a depends thing, right? Awesome. You are so. Click on the items with the red. Water? Oh my goodness. Wow. Perfect score. Thank you a lot for watching. I'm sorry. Thank you a lot for watching this video.